Breaking news from France overnight. Fires erupting during a third night of protests after the deadly police shooting of a teenager. Tom Sufi Burge has the latest from a suburb outside of Paris. Tom, good morning. Yeah, morning, Mary. We're in a residential area just north of Paris. Have a look at this school. You can see how badly damaged it is right along here from an arson attack. Violence erupting this week across France after the death of a French pre teenager of North African descent who was shot dead by a police officer on Tuesday morning. Last night was the third and worst night of violence so far. 600 people arrested, more than 200 police officers injured. The 17-year-old was shot by police. It's claimed he initially failed to stop his car when asked to do so by traffic officers. Prosecutors have now put the officer who allegedly pulled the trigger under formal investigation for voluntary homicide. President Macron calling the shooting of the teenager inexcusable. Racial injustice is a driving factor behind the protests, but many French commentators believe the cost of living crisis is fueling things too. A government crisis meeting is underway right now. There are calls for President Macron to bring in a state of emergency. There are nighttime local curfews already in place to try and quell the violence. Guys? Alarming developments. Tom Sufi Burridge, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.